Hey, um, can I go back to work? You know, I didn't bring a clean shirt to change into in case there's any accidents, Miss Scarlet. So can we get you off of my back? Is that a yes? Hey guys, welcome back to Appalachia's Homestead. Pater with you today. I've had a lot of questions. <laughs> and I have to say, I giggled off of my stool when I read the comment that said, what in tarnation is a hen saddle? So, we're going to go over this today. Okay, before we bring out our model for this demonstration and for this moment in explanation, let me tell you in brief. So obviously if you have hens and then you have roosters and you wanna have little babies, even if you don't wanna have little babies or not, certain activity takes place. And what happens is the rooster treads on the back of the actual hen during the mating process. Okay, it's very fast. <sighs> it happens very fast. Here's the thing that a lot of people don't know is that when a rooster mates a particular hen, he can mate her 20 to 30 times a day. Now that's called treading on her. He's on her back. And so you know the new anthem for every hen out there needs to be, don't tread on me. But they get treaded on. What happens is, is sometimes if you don't have the correct ratio from rooster to hen, and which I like a one to 14. I really like a one to 14 ratio. It's my preference. I think it's just a good number. But even with that, depends on the season, depends on what's going on. You can have one rooster with 12 to 14 hens, something along in that ballpark, and he's gonna have three. He's gonna have three that he is just in love with at that time and he's wearing them out. It's not necessarily that he's a bad rooster. It's just what is biologically going on at the time. If they start to get a lot of wear and tear on their back, you got two choices. You got several choices. You can separate the ones, obviously, from him and leave him with the flock. Some people choose to separate the rooster. They'll put the rooster in for 30 days, leave them with them, try to get the eggs going in terms of fertilization, and then they'll pull the roosters for a while. If I have one particular girl that's really, really heavily treaded on, I may just pull that one, and you need to treat their backs. Not only can the backs wear down, the feathers are gone, and then you have bare skin, it be can become red, it can become bloody, they can actually tear into the sides of the back with their spurs. Some people remove spurs, I do not. I go with management of watching the activity and pulling the rooster if I need to or pulling the hens if I need to. There is also the option of this. This is where the hen saddle comes in. You place these on the back. You place the straps over the wings of the actual hen and this sort of sits kind of like a diaper on their back. I find them overall effective, but you've got to make sure they fit. Let me show you how they fit and what they're supposed to do. And then of course you going forward can judge what works best for you and your farm. In the meantime, Mr. Marlowe here is putting a lock, we hope, onto the Silky Chalet, and the sun is very bright. Honey, you've done a really awesome job here. Beginner's luck. Beginner's luck, huh? Mm -hmm. I'm very lucky to have you, honey. You are that times 100. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna bring Miss Scarlet, who we just brought to the farm. As you can see, she's our special girl, one of our oldest hens, and she's missing an eye, yes. So she's come first, and she's got a special spot here in the Silky Chalet. She's gonna demonstrate, <laughs> aren't you? You're gonna show them what we do, baby. You're a good girl. Let's show you what a, a hen saddle looks like. Okie dokie. You have the hen saddle, you have the hen. She might fight you a little bit on this, so expect it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the hen saddle <clears throat> and you're gonna stretch one side because you're gonna put it over one wing first. I'm gonna place over one wing. Pull this over. Bring the second wing, put it underneath, and then you will simply adjust it 
as so, like under the wing, and adjust it onto, come on girl, your hen, just like so. So when the rooster gets on top of her, like here, you have this protective shield. Now this is this hen saddle is a little bit big for her. This is just a demonstration. They come in different sizes. This is the large to the extra large. She probably needs a small to a medium because she's a smaller girl, aren't you, baby? Oh yeah, get that clover. But this is the idea of how they work. You did so good, darlings. You did. You look beautiful with cherries, too. Very smashing. Smashing. All right, guys, we appreciate you watching here at Appalachia's Homestead. So this is what a hen saddle is and what a hen saddle does. Make sure you're watching all of the behaviors and judging the correct size for your hens. Miss Beauty here, <laughs> Miss Scarlet, is an Americana. So if you have Easter Eggers, Americanas, they're not the largest of your popular breeds that everybody loves. So you might wanna look at about a small to medium. If you get something like a Bard Rock or a Buff Orpington, something along those lines, a Rhode Island Red, you probably are gonna need a large. So check out your girls. All right, you did good, darling. All right, guys, we appreciate you watching. We'll see you on the next video. Can you help me? <laughs>